This ball is crushed. What's going on guys? Coach Austin here with Raging Cages and today we're going to bring you the top five drills for youth catching to help with receiving. A lot of things I've been seeing lately, especially kids who catch for the first time, is they really struggle on receiving the baseball and especially on those low pitches they tend to want to bring it to the ground because they lack the necessary wrist strength to stay through the baseball and stick that good pitch. Okay, So these drills that we're going to show today are, in my opinion, the best five drills you can do to help your son feel what it feels like to receive that baseball better. The first drill we're going to do is very simple. You're going to go barehanded, start off with tennis balls. It's the rapid fire drill. You're going to have your partner toss you four or five, how many you feel necessary, tennis balls in rapid procession. And you're going to have to catch one, get rid of it, catch another. It's going to teach your son to have soft hands. And I'm going to do a few to demonstrate. That's all you really want to see there is catching it nice and firm, thumb under it, getting rid of it, getting ready for the next one. For the second drill, now we're going to take it a step further. You're going to need some kind of smaller ball, whether it be the squishy one that I have, a golf ball, um, a wiffle ball, or you can just roll up a bunch of pieces of paper, whatever you got to do. What you're going to want to do, though, is put it in the ring and pinky finger. Now that's only allowing you to use three fingers to receive these tennis balls. It's going to teach that good feel of what it feels like to receive the ball properly and to catch it in the right part of the mitt. And I'll do a few to demonstrate. This one is not rapid session, one after the other. Resetting each time, making sure you're getting that ball right in those three fingers. After those two drills, the third one is pretty much the same. You're going to keep this ball in these two fingers. Now you're going to add some kind of weight resistance. In my case, we're going to have a weighted ball. Whatever you have at home will work. As long as you're adding some kind of weight resistance so when you go to receive, you're not going to be dragged down. You're going to have to force to use that strength to stick it. And I'll do a few to demonstrate. You want as less movement as possible. If, if your son's having really a, a really tough time in receiving it, go down and wait whatever that you're using. He should have as little as movement as possible, learning to be able to use that strength to stick and receive that baseball properly. Drill number four, we're going to add the glove now. So now we're going to take the weighted ball and use the glove, same premise, but without that ball in these two fingers now. Now he should have that feeling of where he should catch it in the mitt and using, continuing to use that strength and not let this weighted ball bring his mitt to the ground. And I'll do a few to demonstrate. That's all you really want to see. Same thing as the drill before, but now with the glove, using that strength, not letting that ball take him to the ground, getting the thumb through the baseball. Drill number five, the very last drill, is going to kind of tie everything together. It's my favorite drill because kids today have that tough time understanding getting the thumb under and through the baseball when they receive it. So my partner is going to take baseballs and he's going to roll them to me. All I want to do is get my thumb under that ball pick it up off the ground, and bring it in for a low strike. And I'll do a few to demonstrate. All you're wanting to see here is picking that ball up off the ground, getting the thumb under and through, and bring it up into the strike zone. It'll give instant feedback as soon as he misses one, because he'll know he did not get his thumb through that ball. If he gets his thumb through that ball, it'll be easy 
to pick that up and get it through the strike zone. Doing all these five together will really help him. He's really struggling with receiving the baseball and doesn't quite have that strength yet to stick it, and he continues to bring his glove into the bottom of the zone and onto the ground. And as always, continue to work while you wait.